Welcome to part 17 of my Building the Black Pearl. This is the all scenario version. And if you've been following along, you can tell at a glance that I've made some pretty good progress. And uh, it's starting to look pretty good. I'm going to be very proud of this ship when it's done. Let me show you what I accomplished since, uh, since part 16. And uh, keep moving forward. After trying several different ways as to how to position these over the cannon ports, I came up with a measurement and I just kind of eyeball where I want it to be, which is, oh, probably a little less than a quarter of an inch above where the port is. My starter hole and now one of these very temperamental micro drill bits. It's just a matter of finding the hole on both sides. There we go. And now it's operational. And secure it in place as far as where the nail goes into the ship with a little super glue. Once that dries, this will be operational to open it to whatever amount that I want. I thought I'd show how I'm making this piece that comes out from above the cannons that the rope goes through that opens up the cannon door or window, however you want to refer to it. I would just glue the straight part together and leave this part unglued so that I could separate it and put a rope in there. So what I've been doing is taking these clamping scissors. I guess I should just call them clamps. Then taking a sharp edge and so I just slip that in a little bit and it gives a little gap, not much, just enough to get the string in. Then the little piece that is left hanging out for right now, put some CA glue on that. I'm going to pull that through just to the point where it's level, or I could leave it extended and then just clip it off, and then take another pair of these and clamp this shut. And then just leave that for a few minutes until it dries. This is what you'll have. For this uh, pulley system to, to pull open the cannon bay doors, or windows, whichever you want to call it. I've come up with just an approximate measurement where I want those to be, unless it interferes with this rub strip. So that's about where I want the top of the hole to be, I believe. So I've just been taking this knife, kind of centering it, and then just lightly tapping. Then, I don't know if you can see, there's a couple little notches there. That's how far you want it to go in. You can put those, push them into the wood just a little bit if you can. You can push it in by hand or you can tap it in or whatever works for you. And I'm trying to take it where those two little pegs that stick out just at or below the uh, the side of the ship, the wood at the side of the ship. Lightly glue that in place. So I've strung this through. I've tied a little knot on the end. I'll slide this back. And so that I don't have such a big knot, I just put a little CA glue on that, pull it through, 
I'll let that dry. Or if I can keep tension on it, then I take this whole strand. It's just easier to tie a knot there, just a simple square knot. And now I will work that square knot all the way down. Because there's not a lot of distance, I can't have a whole lot of slack in that rope right there. So you can see I'm cinching that up pretty much right to where it goes. Do the same thing with the CA glue on this side. And again, I'm not saying this is the way you're supposed to do it. This is just the choice that I made. Now once that dries, I can snip that off. And again, if I tie a knot, it's just too big of a knot. It's not realistic. So I've just been giving it a twist. Let me find it here. Ground behind. I can you know this is difficult for you to see. But see I want it to hold that door all the way open. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Try some See, A glue and patience. Yeah, I'm just going to let that set and dry. I've lined up here how I'm putting the cannons in place. And again, being a novice, uh, I'm new at this, obviously. So here's what I'm going to say is phase one. I built the base. I put in some uh, loops or hooks or different things to run the ropes through. I'll do that later. You may recall I'm using these nails to hold the cannons in place and to get them centered. What you'll need to do is cut a little bit of that nail off because once the cannon's in place you can't slide it in. First step is to remove the nail. I'm going to slide the cannon base up to approximately where it goes try and get it as straight as I can and then I'm going to back it out just maybe an eighth of an inch because I don't want it up against the ship itself. Then find that hole where the nail was at and give myself a starting point. And you can either use a hand drill which I'd probably recommend but I'm using my power drill. One thing that I've been fearful of is running into the electrical wiring because you wouldn't want to drill into that. Now I've got the hole which will match up to this particular can and each one may be a little bit different so that's why I'm doing each one as I go. Now I can put the nail back in place. And this is where you'll need to trim a little off. So as long as it's below the, the wheels of the cannon, it'll fit into that. So now I can put that in where it goes, find the hole. Step two in my design is to put the cannon in place and glue just a little bit at the base. I've done that to this one, the glue's in place. So as an example, I could take this out now, put a drop of some type of adhesive of your choice towards the back and have it uh, get it centered and then let it set up. Then the next step, because now I can remove this, once this cannon is uh, glued in place, and this is still not dry yet, so I can't move it, then I can remove it and these are an option. These are the little brass lockdowns so the cannon could pivot a little bit. This did not come with the ship. I ordered these separate. I found them on eBay. So I can glue that in place. Once that is dry then I can 
pre-rope some of the rope work and you can see over here my first attempt I'm not done with gluing this in place uh, this is not exact remember in early on I was going to put some pulleys in here it's just too small to work in uh, for me so I'm just going with ropes and some loops and uh, eye bolts things like that I'm going to try and make the cannon roping look a little better than what it looks there or I'll just leave it like that when I bring my airbrush out I may just try and lightly dust some of the ropes with some black I don't want to cover them I just want to make them look dusty or dirty then you can glue the the uh, roping in you can tie it as best you can and that should be it that concludes part 17 of my building the black pearl all scenario version and um, it's getting to the point where it's very rewarding love making the ships it's a great time filler. It is quite a commitment. And as you know, if you've been following along, this has been several months in the making, and I have a few months ahead of me. But regardless of that, uh, it's, a, it's a great hobby. If you've never made one, give it a shot, and it'll be a rewarding experience for you. Sometimes frustrating, but you can work through it. Working with wood is great. I, I pick that over any other material. This is Boiler Dan 1, where my motto is, I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. As always, thanks for watching.